Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Recently, the financial report released by ASML, a Dutch lithography machine giant, showed that in the second quarter of this year, mainland China's net system sales accounted for 49% of the world's total. This means that mainland China has contributed half of ASML's revenue for two consecutive quarters. More importantly, this was achieved without selling those expensive EUV and DUVI lithography machines. For this reason, the United States, as a major shareholder of ASML, began to get anxious. It not only required ASML to control the sales volume of lithography machines, but also considered implementing more stringent measures. This includes that any product with a little American technology cannot be sold to the outside world. It can be said that the rogue nature has been brought to the extreme. Even so, it still cannot curb the development of Chinese chips. China's Chip Breakthrough According to statistics from the General Administration of Customs, in the first half of this year, the total value of China's import and export of goods was 21.17 trillion yuan, a year-on-year -year increase of 6.1%. Among them, exports were 12.13 trillion yuan, a year-on-year -year increase of 6.9%, imports were 9.04 trillion yuan, a year-on-year -year increase of 5.2%. In terms of integrated circuits, the export value was 542.74 billion yuan, a year-on-year -year increase of 25.6%. The export volume exceeded 258.89 billion pieces, a year-on-year -year increase of 14.1%. In the first half of 2024, China's semiconductor sales accounted for about 29% of the world's total. As sales gradually increase, the proportion also tends to rise slowly. In the past, people were still worried about whether the Chinese semiconductor industry would die completely due to US sanctions. However, what was unexpected was that in just a few years, China's semiconductor industry not only did not die, but also developed better and better. Unlike Samsung and TSMC, which focus on advanced processes, Mainland China's chips focus more on the research and development and production of mature process, 28 nanometers and above process, chips. According to Jiwei Consulting, there are currently 47 wafer fabs in mainland China, including 22 12-inch wafer fabs and 25 8-inch fabs. In addition, there are 25 wafer fabs under construction. Whether built or under construction, most of them are mature processes. At the same time, according to the estimates of SEMI, International Semiconductor Industry Association, it is expected that the mature process capacity of mainland China will account for 39% in 2027. In other words, in the next three to five years, the domestic semiconductor industry will occupy a dominant position in the world's mature process chips. At present, China still lags behind the West in advanced processes. But if China takes over the mature process, it will undoubtedly be a blockbuster for the West, and it is afraid that it will be strangled by China at that time. Advanced processes are indeed great, but there are only a few applications. At present, 80% of the chip demand on the market can be fully met by using mature processes. Therefore, China will first surround the low end and mid end and squeeze their profits. Without the support of profits, the research and development of high end chips will slow down. In this way, China will have time to catch up. No wonder Chen Nanxiang, chairman of Yangtze Memory, recently revealed that China's chip industry has not yet achieved explosive growth, but that day will eventually come, and this progress will be seen in the next three to five years. In his judgment, now is not the best time for China's semiconductors, and it is still accumulating strength for development. However, looking at the data, the spring thunder has already come. Apart from anything else, the previous release of Huawei Mate 60 is a strategy of building a plank road in the open. The United States and the West thought that China was going to attack the high-end market, 
and then China frantically seized the low-end and mid-end markets, using the strategy of surrounding the city with the countryside to secretly move forward. Foreign media reported that the EU is paying close attention to the rapid development of China's chip industry, especially the low-end and mid-end chips above 28 nanometers, to prevent it from invading the European market in a big way. Reuters reported that it is not clear what actions the EU will take, but the EU has taken actions one after another to protect European industries from the impact of Chinese competition, and the relationship between the two sides has become increasingly tense. EU imposes high taxes on Chinese electric vehicles. The first to bear the brunt is the EU's 38% tariff on Chinese electric vehicles. The EU said that the tariffs imposed on Chinese electric vehicle manufacturers include BYD 17.4%, Geely 19.9%, and SAIC 37.6%. According to the European Automobile Manufacturers Association, the market share of Chinese-made electric vehicles in the EU has climbed from about 3% to more than 20% in the past three years. You see, China's share is rising very fast, no wonder the EU is so anxious. Seeing that their own electric vehicles cannot compete with China, they want to raise tariffs to prevent China from entering. But new energy vehicles have become the general trend, and no one can change it. For this wave of EU operations, BMW, Volkswagen, Mercedes-Benz and other European car companies have expressed opposition to it. Some people do not understand this. Chinese car companies are subject to heavy taxes, why do European car companies express their opinions first? In fact, if you dig deeper, you will understand that the scope of the EU's taxation this time is not limited to electric vehicles of Chinese car companies, but all electric vehicles produced in China. In other words, as long as pure electric vehicles made in China are shipped to Europe for sale, no matter whether they are Chinese brands or brands from other countries, tariffs will be imposed. You know, China is an important market for these European car companies. Although they mainly focus on fuel vehicles, they also make pure electric vehicles. Therefore, this wave of EU operations is undoubtedly killing 1,000 enemies and hurting 800 of themselves. The same is true for chips. If China is allowed to slowly master mature process technology and form a monopoly, it will undoubtedly be a nightmare for the United States and the West. Now they still have the chip card to play, but it will not be long before this only card is useless and their fate will be doomed. Remember how China made a breakthrough in the shield machine before. In the past, China could not build a shield machine, so foreign manufacturers opened their mouths and asked for 350 million yuan for one machine. If you want to buy it, buy it, if you don't want to buy it, forget it. There is no way, you can only be slaughtered by others because you are not as good as others. After that, China started the road of developing domestic shield machines. In 2008, the first domestic composite earth pressure balance shield machine dash, China Railway No. 1, came into being, breaking the pattern of foreign shield machines dominating the world. Today, Domestic shield machines have not only achieved technological breakthroughs, but also reduced costs again and again. An ordinary model costs 25 million yuan, and even a high-end model is only 50 million yuan. In terms of market share, China's shield machines occupy more than two-thirds of the global market, becoming the world's undisputed number one, and even exported to more than 30 countries abroad, including Europe. Oh, by the way, the German shield machine manufacturer that sold hundreds of millions of shield machines to China before was forced to close down. China's move also completely shattered the sky-high price, dream of Europe and the United States, causing a number of foreign media to say, China is destroying the market. But justice is in the hearts of the people. Who is destroying the market? Anyone with a discerning eye can see it at a glance. This is true for shield machines, and even more so for chips.